Hey everyone, Captain Amazing here, and today we are going to go over my second round of Grand Arena. Um, so again, this was pre-recorded, not my best, cut me a little slack, I was feeling really, 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 really bad. Um, still have like a low-grade fever right now, um, but I had a actual fever and migraine when I did this, so excuse the horribleness that you're about to witness. All right, so my first round, I decided to go with Inquisitors against Leia. Uh, they just had a normal thick cron. I have a, a, a Riva cron. So really, really easy, especially considering how hard the first round uh, Leia was. But this was, was a ridiculously easy fight. A pretty, pretty easy just max banner win right there. So pretty happy with that. Next, I had Leia, I'm sorry, <laughs> Treya, um, Treya Mirror, and I thought, well, I have Nihilus, and they have uh, they have Talon. So I was like, oh, this is an easy, I'll just, I'll isolate, they'll isolate, we won't be able to kill each other, and then I will um, annihilate Treya and then the, the rest and everything. I'll probably take out Talon because I'll focus her. And then I realized that my they have all relics and all three Omicrons. And they just like absolutely bodied me. <laughs> so I backed out of this one. I don't know why I tried this because I'm, I'm a fool. Uh, and I played this really, really badly. So right off the bat, lost that one. I decided to go with that Jabba here. Though I did plan out... Uh, not well, uh, but I planned this out and I was like, okay, I think I can spare Jabba for Treya here. Uh, I probably could have just done this like solo Jabba and then killed all three. I didn't want to play around. Uh, honestly, I wasn't firing on all cylinders anyways at this point. So I end up losing um, losing Leia here because of all of her counterattacks. So she is going to, she is destined for failure and that's, that's pretty much what happens when you go for Leia, uh, go with, I'm sorry, go with um, Leia here for this fight. So I, I was destined, destined, <laughs> She's as you can see, she has like zero health and then she just dies. Um, so I, if anything, I probably should, could have just like brought my tank or something and been just fine, uh, which is probably what I should do, but, or should have done. But again, I was not, uh, what do you call it, thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, yeah, Java, whatever. I'll just throw this in here. Um, but I did want to bring a dark side GL. Like I was, I was thinking SOKR or something, but I had other plans for that guy. And honestly, Treya is a menace. Like there's, she's a really good team. Uh, without Nihilus, there's some things that open, open up some counters. I just didn't have those counters available or didn't want to use them. Uh, but this, this I felt was fine. And right here, I'm just like, getting my alt up uh, and that's why i'm using all those basics and then same thing i'm just gonna like ramp my basics up and and kill savage the same way because there's there's no way uh we're gonna be able to work through him his survivability like his omicron still turned on he has really high survivability so i'm just going to um pretty much basic and then work my alt up uh once once you start working like three or one third through your alt like after you start basic -ing, it just starts like ju juicing up really quickly and it goes by really really quick so uh not not too bad here not the best banners but this was not my best gack but it, it just is what it is right like you just sometimes you just you just have to crawl your way through some horrible decisions and and there's not much uh, thought process that was happening here. I was just like, okay, I'm just, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it through. Honestly, I, I thought like, hey, I'm, I'm probably once I lost that tray, I was like, oh great. Um, and usually it's like a cascading effect where I don't have enough teams. And I, at this point, I was like, oh great, I, I probably already lost the gack. <laughs> um, but next, I, I go with SOKR here against Java. This is easy. Um, they do take out uh, my first order officer. Not cool. Really not cool. wasn't wasn't happy about that. Um, but uh, it's it's fine. Absolutely fine. I'm I have a I am blinded here. 
So I'm just going to basic on Kursan, and then that'll loop me around to my poke, and I'll be able to poke Boosh and then take her out. And at that point, it's pretty much a foregone uh, conclusion. I'm just going to um, juice up SOKR and like Jabba is destined to die. There's absolutely nothing uh, Jabba himself can do against an SOKR. Like just absolutely nothing. So yeah, there you go. He's dead. So not clean banners. All right, so normally I don't ray against Malgus. Believe it or not, it's not a guaranteed. It, there's some worlds where you could possibly lose, but uh, they didn't have Malak here and I wanted, I had to save Jabba. And Jabba is usually what I do for Malgus. You can just solo it and then just keep basicing and then you just like eat everyone. Um, but unfortunately I, I wasn't able to do that this time. Uh, because I had to, because the that Treya didn't work. So then this led to me having to use Ray here on Malgus, which again isn't isn't the best, but it is it's what I had. So um, this is what I had to do, which is it's fine. It's it's not the worst counter in the world. It's just not the best, and it's really messy, honestly. Like really, really messy. The the banners are horrible, and you can see like the banners for all this are, are all these attacks have been like really, really bad. This is one of the least cleanest gacks I've ever done. Um, which I part of it is my condition. Part of it is my thought process. Part of it is my execution, um, but at least at this point, I realize that I shouldn't just like keep throwing whirlwinds at him. Uh, so I'm gonna do the the wham bam combo. I'm going to wait for ult, and then I'm gonna whirlwind him, and that should lead me to get the wind uh, because I can't. Um, yeah. So see, there you go. Just gonna keep basicing, and uh, at this point, continue building, uh, building my ult. I'm almost there. There you go. And now I can ult. Once I'm I once the ult is done, I can immediately uh whirlwind and kill Malgus. So boom, he's dead. Malgus actually survived pretty well there. I'm surprised how little damage he took. And uh, now I can whirlwind. And it didn't work. <laughs> so at this point I was like, oh great. So I'm I just have to kind of get to another uh whirlwind or ult. And then I'll probably be fine. Uh, I really hate that the basics on um, with Ben heal Malgus, which is which is really really annoying. But what can you do, right? You can't healing immunity him. So I did notice. Okay, I, I'm back up. So now I'm going to try to get another whirlwind by Ray by using some lifeblood. Uh, and now I'm just going to, I, I believe the same thing, like wait for ult, which is good timing. I have my whirlwind, I have my ult, it's just him. He doesn't have anyone to save him. So I'm gonna wave it, heal him, cause I'm a dummy. And then go ahead and do that. And then into a whirlwind. So get that assist in, a little bit of damage, then into a whirlwind and boom, there he finally goes. Really, really rough, horrible banners, but it is what it is. All right, so I decided to use Wampa against this team. This team is really good on offense against Qui-Gon's. I, I think I have mine on defense uh, just because I don't have any Zetas on it, but or not this one, not with Magna Guard. If there is B1, then it would be a really good Qui-Gon counter. Uh, I guess this is just a filler team for them. It, it makes sense. It can lose. It can take some banners from people. It has some decent survivability and um, you know, you have, uh, you, there's some realms where it can like sneak some banners, but there's nothing here that is a threat to Wampa. And that's why I brought Wampa here. And he, Wampa has a really good level six cron. So really, really safe. There's nothing. You just ignore the extortion. You can't extort a Wampa. She is unextortable. Uh, she's in the nude right now. I don't know if you noticed it. So you can't leak her nudes. So it just kind of is what it is. All right, so this is one of the worst played matches I've ever done in my life. And as you can see here, uh, boom, I'm an idiot. <laughs> like uh, at this point, I was like, what just happened? Instant defeat immunity. Uh, this is the first time I've used a uh, JMK on offense against something other than a mirror, uh, especially in threes or that um, Rex Rex fives I took on the last time. And I didn't realize that 
he started i knew um ben had instant defeat immunity i didn't know like his teammates would so i was like okay let me uh put healing immunity on cal take him out because he's going to be healing uh ray and ben so i need to like take out cal as fast as possible and uh not like just start putting armor shreds i wasted my opportunity i could have just waited for his healing immunity to kind of like fall off or insta hit immunity to fall off and then kill him and then kill uh get ray into half health put healing immunity and then kill ben and then kill ray but i didn't do that because i'm really dumb and i don't know this counter and i don't know how to use jmk and i'm like jmk is super awesome i'm just gonna destroy this ray and then i am an idiot and i failed the a counter I, I will say i i do think that this ray with jedi knight cow is a counter or can be a counter to a normal uh jmk it's a, it's a really strong like cow with ray is really really strong so um yeah like a really strong team but again here i'm just like sucking and you can see how much like protection up this guy has and he's healing so much and they just kill kill cat and i'm like all right i'm out of here i suck so again um you know my cut me a little break here <laughs> i was really sick <laughs> all right so i did end up using star killer and then I, my thought process was like oh i'm gonna uh, kill cow and here I am like in a dummy juicing up Ray because she has uh, inspiration and I'm getting all this turn meter and I'm like oh crap uh, I probably shouldn't do that as I as you see me here like oh I should probably take that inspiration off right so she doesn't like one shot my team and I was like oh hey I already have all I don't think I use it here yep um, because I don't need it yet and I'm still doing like yeah take him into half and t eat that to the face now I have to work her down while um while Cal is in healing our uh, damage immunity so I'm gonna bring Ray down I do have the good level six for this uh that's what makes this possible the good level six is like super juicy uh and now I'm just going to wait for everyone's uh and you saw Cal healed right back up. So I was like, oh man. Uh, but I noticed at this point, I was like, hey, Cal is like not even like the healing I'm Ray is getting is not is not enough to heal how much damage I'm out uh, inputting out there uh, from Starkiller in this level six. So I was like, hey, I'm, I'm just going to ignore Cal at this point. And I'm just going to go all in on uh, Ray and Ben because she's already in half health. Ben's, um, Ben's like really close to death. So I healed up so I can get the, uh, and yeah, this is where I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to, like, you can see Cal, he's like a full health, full protection right over there. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to ignore this, get that lined up, kill Ray, and then she dodged. <laughs> she dodged. I lined it up. Oh man, isn't that, don't you hate that when that happens? Um, but kill Ben, and then it lines up anyways, kill Ray, and now I just have to like work through Cal. Um, which is fine not not a big deal so i'm going to go ahead and still use those specials because with the good level six she'll still assist and then star killer assist twice whenever ben almost is going to take a turn uh there you go i uh, just kill him off real quick and finish off cow and call it a win so i probably should have done that in the beginning i don't know why i didn't maybe i i thought it, it didn't have the juice but now i know i, I that's just going to be my go-to if i have to is i'm just going to keep using star killer for that all right so at this point i i'm pretty sure the threats are gone and even though i've like played this horribly i'm able to use some like uh, I'll start overkilling some things. So I'm able to use JML to kill Qui-Gon, just use some some trash uh, Jedi. At this point, I've decided banners aren't really a thing. And surprisingly enough, Bane against Grand Inquisitor. I know, right? You're like, are you serious, Captain Amazing right now? With this garbage, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna just disrespect Bane like this by taking down these wimpy Inquisitors, like non-Reva Inquisitors, like this Garbanzo Beans is what you use our, um, our Lord and Savior Bane. Yeah, I know, I know. But at this point, it was 
the strongest team. I don't know. It's just it's just something. Um, and then kind of my counters, like I I lost a good amount of teams. So this is what I had to do. I had to use Bane against uh, because this is a reliable counter. Like obviously. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let me. Um, and this was the last team on the top wall for me to take out ships. And then I went with uh, Imperial Troopers here against Zori. Um, yeah, this uh, this went not well. So I was like, okay, let me go in on Finn. And then he goes into st Stealth. And then they start killing my dude. Now they have Retribution. I'm like, okay, let me start attacking Finn. And then they're just like, yep, let me just delete your guy. And I was like, okay, well, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> but, but I was like, okay, let's see if uh, I didn't even get the the juiced up offense from PX. So I was like, let me try it. Nope, didn't work. Um, so at this point, I do have Radis for this Iden, um, which is like super reliable. I, I honestly wasn't too worried about this. This is uh, even with a uh, Shore Trooper and um, Scout Trooper. It's it's a good team. I this Iden team. But I was like, okay, I'm just going to throw Radis at it. Radis counters Empire really reliably. I could have used this against that that um, Grand Inquisitor team. But I, I honestly thought this would be the harder team to kill than Grand Inquisitor. Like, yeah, Bane could have beat both. But I was like, yeah, I'll just use this. Honestly, maybe I should have used, like, Bane on... Um, on Zori or something, but you know, uh, sometimes you you look at what you have and you make decisions. And honestly, I, like again, my I was not firing on all cylinders here, so I just kind of stumbled my way through this, falling over multiple multiple times. Uh, but this was perfectly fine, and the Grand Inquisitor thing was perfectly fine. So I was a little worried about like, okay, what am I going to use to take out Zori? But not not too worried. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I found I could find something that could get through it and I was like okay uh, this this is like super reliable uh, sometimes whenever like this happens right here do you see where like they're all pretty much like full health and I'm like am I gonna lose this and then all of a sudden Radis just like deletes the team and I'm like okay no I'm not <laughs> that's always how it feels all right so I did have Malgus with grit and Malgus with grit is thick i probably should have done this before because he doesn't take any exposed damage so again uh just a byproduct of me not playing efficiently like i i probably could have just done solo malgus at this point because Ra zori could do absolutely nothing to malgus um especially since those exposes do nothing so, and he's just gonna kind of like cycle through and just dunk all these guys because he's his with grit malgus does a ridiculous amount of damage on those dunking you see boom 180k damage uh just deleting these people so Honestly, I, I probably should have just took like a solo Malgus. I guess my one worry is like the turn meter train that they have. Like I wouldn't ha take enough turns to like cycle through and kill all of them. And then if they have like foresight or something, I, 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 it's always, I'm always like a little scared to just like take Malgus or his characters in solo, but I, I think it probably would have been fine. All right. And then now I'm, I'm just running my victory lap. There's not much else to, to kind of hold me back here so i this does have a first order trooper cron um data cron with a first order tie pilot um Om omicron and that's why it's like giving cls a, a little bit of a challenge not not really like a lot but it, where it, the reason why it didn't fold immediately um so at this point once once the first order tie pilot cron um omicron is gone like i you just everything just dies really quickly um really really easy absolutely pretty sure this is full banners cls is really good i don't know what to say first order is not all right so for this we have a zam wessel with a boba fett lead absolutely garbage back wall kind of stuff filler teams maybe you didn't expect me to get into the back wall i don't know uh but um dash han chewy is able to to get through really well and gives me decent banners so i'm i'm pretty sure i'm able to maybe i'd maybe he steals a banner one banner or not i don't know at this point banners are optional <laughs> uh but able to uh yeah max banners right there pretty good and then saw for saw i decided to go with 
um, Sith Empire. So I, I did have a lot of good like A minus teams on the back. So really good, even though I, I dropped like a bunch of battles, nothing nothing that was not expendable. I, I think I would have liked to save some of those teams, especially like Treya. Treya would have been really nice to save. Um, but otherwise, still got through this really, really easy. Pretty sure that was the last. Oh no, so this is the last ground one. Um, I'm pretty sure. So sortie with uh, with with that uh, Grievous and Droidica. So Jedi Knight Revan has really good mechanics against both of these. Um, one because whenever someone has protection protection up and um, Jedi Knight Revan hits them, they lose 10% health health so you easily can get through sortie you can uh target um any of these down with uh with jedi knight revan's uh second special uh so you can get through the force taunt there um so this has really strong mechanics overall really easy uh, I'm, I'm sure i could have wampa it but uh wampa did her job well so I'm going to target down General Grievous, kill him. And at this point, sorry against a full team is, is pretty much pretty sure I get like max banners here because I'm just trying to recover them, having them attack at a turn. Uh, so really, really easy. Um, I'm just going to whittle uh, Sorty's max health down, and then that's going to make her uh, protection up pretty much useless. And then we'll we'll just kill her. And that's it like you just it, it has really really strong mechanics against this so really really easy match as far as this and i i did plan this one out so kudos to me for making at least like one good decision <laughs> i guess but that that was it like this this was a pretty rough grand arena um and then next we have our fleets to see how we can do over there but this should be the end of it there you go not too bad Nope, I lied. I lied. <laughs> I don't. Who knows how many ground fights? Uh, all right. So I did have um, a dash team here, and this is where I probably would have preferred to have, um, where I would have preferred to have Treya, because I was like, okay, I have bounty hunters here, but um, every time you hit L three, like she's she's ramping her. Uh, I believe her. It's protection or health, probably health. I think she's ramping her health. And then I have to slowly work through um, an attack dash as much as I can uh, because L3, I believe, has like a great cron on. And then even if L3 died with protection because she has prepared, um, then she would get revived either way. So I, I couldn't even get kill l3 if i wanted luckily if i if they would kill the mandalorian one time this would be a loss uh because i wouldn't be able to um get get my um i wouldn't be able to target outside of protection so that was the the one threat is if they focus down the mandalorian or he died and he lose bounty hunters resolve then this would lose and that's why i would have preferred to have treya because treya you can isolate l3 and then you can easily kill vandor from there and then you can annihilate whoever you wanted uh, pretty much from that point but i'm um, at this point i'm just going to take out l3 and then just kill dash it's not really not a big deal uh the reason i did that was i just didn't want to have to deal with all those counter attacks and then um like dash also you can heal uh like um yeah the pretty much the counter attacks i would i could heal through his aoe's not a big deal this team has a ton of survivability so I was planning on just like, and, and uh, he has less tenacity, I think. So it's easier to keep him controlled, uh, stunned and all those other things. So um, yeah, I, I hate when I miss those. Pretty bad timing, honestly, on this uh, because, uh, but I'm, I'm just gonna take it, or I'm, I'm actually gonna try to heal up a little bit. I think I do end up losing one banner here because I was kind of like tired of it. And I'm like, okay, I'll just, I'll just eat the one banner. All right, so next I have, uh, this is uh, honestly these fights are pretty dicey um so for this one it is the chimera, uh, chimera versus 
um, the Leviathan seven stars. So there's different variants of like how you have to play this depending on if the Sith fighter or the Thai Dorito and the Thai Dorito is technically the harder variant of this. Um, but as you can see, like I'm going to play it standard uh, how you would normally play it. Um, my Camara did go first, so I'm going to get offense up right here. And then as you can see, I have three turns and they don't have a, uh, the Sith fighter here. So there's no way that they can change turn meter. So I'm going to, with offense up and um, the defender, I'm going to wait until it's her turn so that I can guarantee that kill on that Dorito. Because if I would have attacked with any of the other ones, then chances are I could have possibly lost that um luckily my pretty good rng there uh my my tie fighter survives the mast assist probably because there's not as many uh ships on the field i try to target that sith fighter um with my tie interceptor um everyone does have some buff immunity except for the bomber which was a little annoying um so i'm gonna keep healing my tie defender um, just to keep her healthy. Everyone has buff immunity. I'm going to kill that Sith fighter. And at this point, we're we're looking really good. This RNG played ex like perfectly. So perfectly played, honestly. Like pat myself on the back on that one. Um, but yeah, the really easy fight. Uh, next, we have the Camara for some reason. He put it on defense. Uh, no Scythe for whatever reason as well. So... Uh, pretty easy-ish fight sometimes the the dodges or whatever uh can be difficult i do like um personally like using the malevolence for this just because it's it, it can especially with the scythe it can like um work around some things put buff immunity out there nothing i can do here as far as um as far as they both have foresight so i'm going to generate some turn meter there i do want to get that tie interceptor out of there so i'm gonna i am gonna eat one of those foresights just to try to get through nothing i can do there you have to uh, literally literally no option other than to um eat that foresight and now i'm generating tons of turn meter because i'm attack attacking like two very um like evasive characters uh and then i yeah, so I'm going to try to stun TIE Defender here. I did land the stun. Luckily, it didn't dodge that. And I'm going to try to work it down as fast as possible. They ulted my my tank. So at this point, I'm like, eh, maybe, you know, I, I dropped a bunch of other battles. So what's one more? Um, and these guys, like, if the RNG Jesus is not with you, there's a lot of different ways that you can lose this. So I was like, okay, let me just try to, it's it's within cleanable range, so whatever um, at this point. So uh, luckily I did get the TIE Defender out there. So I was like, yeah, this is super cleanable, uh, clean upable at this point. AoE and then killed him. He didn't dodge any of that. So uh, he, super clean win there, right? 63 banners. <laughs> I just barely made it. Um, at this point, they have a radis with the comeuppance in the starting for some reason so i use i have the profundity so i was like okay let me use the profundity here raise millennium falcon kept dodging han's millennium falcon so i was like oh man like i i need to take all those buffs off her because if she does her special aoe uh, she dispels all the buffs on her and then um does bonus damage based on all those buffs so i was like okay i need to um and she has foresight right now. So I was like, okay, I need to get those off. And again, like foresight with Hans Millennium Falcon, no assist here. So I'm like, she's about to take a turn and she's going to do some massive damage. That's, that's kind of like the threat here. So I take ghost instead of phantom first, um, so that I can get that assist and then dispel all those buffs before she does the aoe luckily no one dies uh because that buff or that that aoe is seriously deadly when she has all those buffs um i think if i didn't do it the whatever if i would have brought out phantom and didn't dispel them 100 percent phantom probably would have died uh maybe some other ones too uh so um luckily that didn't happen so i'm just have to like easily beat the <laughs> this last resistance x-wing and I, this is this is in the bag this is no problem uh it wasn't really a problem but it just is what it is all right so that that's it let's see the results now so this was the results so even though this was horribly executed i dropped tons of battles uh luckily i was uh pretty clean in the fleets honestly pretty 
proud of that. Not not the biggest deal fleets wise, right? Like the only thing here that was kind of hard is the Leviathan. Um, but luckily I was able to beat them uh, and they couldn't get through my Leviathan. So I did put this variant out there because I saw that um, they tried to use, I think the, they try to use profundity and I'm pretty sure they tried to use negotiator with Marauder to beat it. They did have, or maybe they tried, um, the executor and profundity. I don't, I don't know exactly what they did. Um, but they tried two battles. They couldn't get through my Leviathan and, and then called it quits from there. Uh, because, uh, just mathematically they couldn't beat me without clearing Le leviathan but if they would have cleared my fleets um they would have won but they didn't and then i i ended up winning this so i uh, i'm on to the championship round so uh good for me i guess <laughs> you know stumbling my way through probably one of the worst full clears i've ever done um but hey here i am so uh i got it done so thanks for watching if you wanted to make fun of me in the comments uh, go ahead and make fun of me and then uh, I'll, I'll see you guys there. So I'll see you next time. Take care.